Thank you very much for being here. I will talk today about penis rejuvenation and enlargement with intracavernous autologous PRP platelet rich plasma. So we know very well that all the sessions have been talking about the effectiveness of, of platelet rich plasma. It has been used for decades to improve angiogenesis and wound healing and could theoretically improve multiple urologic conditions such as erectile dysfunction, peronies, disease, and stress urinary incontinence. And we have few scientific evidences about the effectiveness of intracameras autologous platelet rich plasma in the treatment of erectile dysfunction. And I will tell you how I do it for the rejuvenation and the enlargement. Uh, so this is a study who has been published in 2015 who talk about the effectiveness of uh, platelet-rich plasma autologous in the erectile dysfunction combined and no with the phosphodiesterase type 5. Another study has been published in 2018 and uh, which shows um, on 17 patients with erectile dysfunction with very good results and with a few, 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 uh, no complication, complication and uh, a few adverse events like pain, small pain during a few days after the injection. Another study in 2017 which uh, described all the growth factors involved in rectal dysfunction recovery as a fibroblood blood growth factor, basic the acid, the platelet drive growth factor and vascular endothelial growth factors and we know perfectly the target tissues of every growth factors like for the platelet drive growth factor the fibroblast counter size osteoblast and myocyte and which is interesting for us in erectile dysfunction and rejuvenation of the penis is the fibroblast growth factor and the vascular endothelial growth factor which has a target the endothelium so um, i evaluate my patient uh, the effectiveness of PRP with the International Index of Erectile Function, which is based on 15 questions, as you know perfectly, the score from 0 to 5. The first uh, type of question on erectile function with a score maximum 30, the orgasmic function, the sexual desire, the intercourse, satisfaction, and then the overall satisfaction. I use a second generation PRP kit. I use our topical anesthesia with prilocaine five persons and lidocaine five persons or directly topical anesthesia with 30% lidocaine or I can use also local anesthesia but in general I use only topical anesthesia and the very supportable is not painful for someone. The blood sample is 23 milliliters about and with a syringe of 30 milliliters but I show you the procedure during the video. And I will centrifugate spin for three minutes, 3,000 rotation per minute, 1,600 G. And what is very important, it's the volume that I can get, which is 12 milliliters of pure pure P autologous. And it can concentrate at about 4 million billion platelets, which is very important. Uh, about the injection and everything, we show it during the video. So. So I inject in two points in intracavernous 1.5 milliliters every injection from each side and then I will inject in total so 3 milliliters from each side which is a total of 6 milliliters and inject 2 milliliters 2 milliliters in subcutaneous on the dorsal of penis. So I have um, all the fractions. The first fraction is very concentrated on a PRP, the second little bit less, 20 persons, and the third is one ten percent of PRP, but I will get all the fractions together injected. So I will draw about two milliliters of uh, sodium citrate, so to have the anticoagulation, and then I will do, I will draw the blood, with a syringe of 25 milliliters. So we get in total 23 milliliters of blood sample with two milliliters of uh, sodium citrate. And then I will take the blood sample. I will put it on the PRP kit completely 
sterile, so I don't touch anything when, while I'm throwing the blood, the blood inside. So I have in total 25 milliliters of product. We go a little bit faster. So a very easy manipulation to get the blood inside. And then I will spin it for three minutes at 3000 rotation per minute. And then I will draw the PRP obtained. So very easy manipulation, as you see, of the PRP kit. And you see all the volume that I can obtain. It's really a lot. I can obtain 12 milliliters of pure PRP. And then I wait close in order to avoid that I can get some red cells inside my sample. And then I will draw the quantity with a syringe of 10 milliliters. So then to inject the sample, the PRP, I can decide to put the content of this syringe inside a smaller syringe of, for example, 2.5 milliliters or 1 milliliters, because we know that when we use a very small needle of 30 gauge or 32 gauge, we need to use it with a small syringe to avoid the pressure we get and to avoid the pain. So it's always less painful when you use a small syringe, <coughs> small needle with a small syringe. But in this case, I used a big syringe because I want to preserve the PRP as they are very sensitive, the platelet, and I didn't want to do any manipulation. So as you see, I have a needle of 30 gauge, length 13 millimeters, but I enter intracavernous, so I enter like half of needle, about six millimeters, not more, on the depth, and I inject very slowly. In this case, I used only topical anesthesia with the prelocaine and uh, 5% and lidocaine, 5%, and it was very supportable, so the patient didn't lamentate pain. So, as I told you, 1.5 milliliters every entry point, so in every two points in, in every side, and 3 milliliters from every side. So, I will inject the other side. Can you please move a little bit faster? Okay. And at the end, I will just show you the subcutaneous injection of the last two milliliters that I would inject. So I saw that uh, it's a very simple procedure, procedure, not painful, with very, very good results. So my procedure, I will um, inject every 15 days. I have three sessions every 15 days, and then I assess the patient and I evaluate the possibility to do more session. So just to, to show you with a small needle, of course the syringe is a little bit big, so the pressure is more important when I inject. But it's really def definitely less painful here. And thank you very much for your, your attention. Thank you, Dr. Nora. Can you please join us? Um, so I would... Um, these are all the speakers for today. Uh, I would just um, open the podium for questions. Are there any questions from the podium for our speakers today?